example of big picture obsession gone too far. At some point, he became so fixated on large scale results that he lost the concept of the common good along the way. It's an inhumane kind of public service when people and the basic resources they need become numbers in a ledger. Kind of you to say, but there are better people than me around here. I just hope the followers can make a difference in the long run. Did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual, not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius. And, and he didn't mention her, not even her name. Or any of the other mercs? But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed. Or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage. But I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. The moment you walked in. I mean it. Of course. Anything. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Nowadays... They've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildren trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside, even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. The director? He's very well-spoken and knowledgeable. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's Kind of a cold warm. Most of the time I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. Good researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keely hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keely because, well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war, the Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Right. Stay safe. Download complete. Begin recording. Navarro Outpost Scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks of information on this machine. Please handle this information with the utmost care, as it represents the sum total of the results of my research on the Duraframe iBots. There are 
also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some projects they were working on in the Mojave area. Yes? Something else you needed? I never said you were. You've been speaking to Williams, haven't you? All right, I'll take you at your word. Williams didn't say anything at all. You just came to this conclusion on your own. No, you aren't the first person I've sent to the vault. I'm sorry that I neglected to tell you, but I don't see how it makes any difference. You want certainty? You'll never find it, especially not in the pursuit of science. Take my advice. Forget about Williams. She's a talented researcher, but she doesn't understand people, and she can't see the big picture. Now, I know your time is valuable, so I won't waste any more of it. Feel free to show yourself out. Yes? Something else you needed? Williams is an admirable researcher. If she wasn't, I'd have terminated her contract, and she'd be begging for work from my former employers. Williams has a tendency to feel before she thinks, not in the lab, but everywhere else. That might be forgivable if she kept her concerns to herself, but she doesn't. Not in front of her peers, not even with contractors like herself. That kind of behavior can undermine morale. She convinced my last contractor to quit, same way she tried with you. Probably didn't tell you that, did she? No, I... no. The OSI hasn't been around for very long. I received my training elsewhere. Before the bombs, I might have studied at any number of colleges, universities. They gave a man a chance to advance himself, or so I've heard. But after the bombs, until a few years ago, anyone with half a brain had one choice, the followers of the apocalypse. Didn't matter if you agreed with them or not. You either played along or you were turned away. Knowledge for knowledge's sake, a society of equals. They purport to be intelligent people, and then they spout this old world dogma. Exactly right. Imagine what the followers could have accomplished if they were properly motivated, if they had a unified purpose. Those of us who founded the OSI, we wanted to put our knowledge to work, and we have to some degree. But the execs at OSI Central, they're still bound to the old ideas, society of equals and all that. There's still too little direction. If I can make real breakthroughs here, show the president what can be done when junior researchers are kept in line, kept focused on tasks. Who knows? Maybe I'll be sitting in OSI Central in a few years' time, and there'll be no more coddling of free spirits like our friend Williams. Yes, goodbye.
Yeah. That's not the best thing you can hang on to. <coughs> that would be pretty ridiculous. I'm not going to talk to you about anything good on the menu. But I have to put that to go because I'm going to be... And pretty much picking up everything I can in the next few minutes. And I'll actually be doing all of it. Yeah, I better see by here. 